We are back at it again. Good to see you, my friend. It's Hayes. Hayes Silence, where they call me. Let's get straight into it. This is one of my, this is my favorite comedian right now, Josh Johnson. Seeing his rise to popularity is just crazy to see within the past year or so. Like, organically see it, like, is, is incredible. But he's going to talk about, this is a year ago, Kamala replacing Biden. I have, I can't remember what he said about this. This is going to be very interesting. That being said, it's election day. Let's go. I'll be honest with y'all. I, I don't smoke weed. <laughs> but I let people think I do. Because <laughs> it makes me make more sense to people. <laughs> like, if I told you my thoughts and you knew I was sober, you'd be like, ooh, uh, <laughs> is he slow or something? What's going on here? But if I told you my thoughts and you thought I was high, you'd be like, he really on to something. I like how he can. <laughs> That's fire right there. <laughs> I'll give you an example right now. Like, I would, I wish I could talk to bugs. <laughs> and not all the animals. I'm not trying to get input from everybody, just bugs. You trying to be Dr. Doolittle? Because I feel like it would save a lot of lives, you know? Because how many times have you been at home chilling? And in the corner of the room, you just hear. Yeah. Man, you could talk to bugs if you could be like, hey, bro. Yo. No. No. <laughs> Chill, I'm bro. Not tonight. Chill, bro. I'm not in the mood. Yeah. I'm going to open the window. I'm going to need you to leave. <laughs> and then he'd be like, mm, sorry. <laughs> but because we don't speak their language, it's just every time. It's just murders in your house. Let's say you bring somebody home, you have a date, date's going well, date comes back with you, your place, you in the Netflix portion of the Netflix and chill. You got the arm around, y'all making out, and then just a cockroach walk out <laughs> to the middle of the room. If you could just be like, Carl, Carl. Carl? No. It was Carl? Not tonight, I got company here. Come on now. <laughs> Come on, bro. He'd be like, I'm sorry, I'm, that's my bad. <laughs> <laughs> my bad, dog. Even she'd be understanding. She'd be like, he had no way of knowing I was coming. That's <laughs> It happens. <laughs> if I could talk to bugs, Bugs first life. bug that I talk to would be a praying mantis. I just walk up to him and be like, she ain't good for you, dog. <laughs> <laughs> nah, don't do this. You and the boys for a little while. She just using you for your body, okay? <laughs> No, no, not even sex. You got a tasty ass head, and she wants to eat you. Now I understand why he says people think he began. <laughs> First of all, John, John, his mannerisms like he's always smiling. I can't even redo. I can't even do it. Like it's such a, I can't even explain. Like it's like a sarcastic smile, but almost like a evil kind of. I don't even know. I can't even explain his smile. Like his. Like, he smiles in such a way, like, what's he up to? Like, mischievous. That's what I'm looking for. Like, mischievous smile. Like, it's just like, what is he up to? He's up to something. <laughs> like, but, yeah, this is definitely a high conversation right now, bro. You're trying to be a bug's life out here, son. Ants, like, what you, damn. I lived a great era. Like, we had all kind of movies back in the day. We had ants. We had bug's life. Bro, we had Dr. Doolittle. Like, we had some good movies back in the day. My bad. <laughs> Let's go. I watch... I watch the news sometimes when I'm like not depressed enough, you know? <laughs> you know, sometimes you're having a good day, you turn on the news, you're like, let's see who else is having a good day. And the news is like, nobody. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> nobody having a good day. Everybody dies. <laughs> Everybody died. So I turn on the news and I saw uh, Kamala Harris was in Jakarta. And she was in an interview with a journalist. And during the interview, the journalist asked her if she would be ready, willing, and able to take up the office of president if Biden was, for whatever reason, incapacitated. And she said, yes. And it was just too quick. That was <laughs> that's way too fast. Well. <laughs> and don't get me wrong. That's literally her job. Her job to be there in case he not there, she there, right? right. That's yeah. her whole job. But she said yes. Like, she been dropping banana peels at the White House for years. <laughs> that's way too fast. She said yes. Like, every time Biden get all some steps, her mouth water. Just like, okay, it's the day. All right, I'm going to get my promotion. <laughs> 
Oh, he about to miss that third step. Let me get the right pantsuit on. <laughs> Let me get the right pantsuit, son. Like, bruh, the fact that this is like roughly a year ago, it, it, it's just like, we saw, like, she was ready. As soon as her name was called in July this year, she said, okay, let's go. Like, yo, that's crazy. Like, I don't, I didn't think we was going to get here, bro. I did not think we was going to get here. I was like, man, we about to do this rematch. She's about to do this Golden State Cleveland Cavaliers 2018 rematch that nobody wants to see. But thankfully, we didn't get that. <laughs> She said it like just any time she's like the Toronto Raptors versus Warriors in 2019. Hopefully, just like the just like the Raptors. <laughs> Walking down the stairs behind him, she sees her hair shaking like she about to lean forward. <laughs> I could be a world leader. <laughs> and you could tell she could tell she said yes too fast. Cause she said yeah. So then he asked her, she was like, yes, ooh. Like <laughs> she <laughs> And so then she started backtracking, which just made it sound worse. She was like, I, I, I'm just answering your hypothetical. Like, you the one over here asking a question about, but I'm stronger than ever. <laughs> All right, calm down. Um, do y'all see that they want to impeach Biden now? Do you see they're trying to open the investigation and impeach Biden? Well, let's, see if I can remember, let's see if I can remember what the investigation was about. See, I don't watch the news. I like I don't know how my mom does. She watches the news every day. I'm like, how do you watch it? Like, I just refuse to watch the news. Like, I just I just get it from trusted sources that I follow, like a daily uh, a daily show or something like that. I, I refuse to watch or Roland Martin or something like that. But yeah, I refuse to watch the news, bro. But um, damn, I can't remember what he's going. What he got in? They attempt to impeach him about. I cannot remember. I cannot remember. Like, yeah, I I can't. I legit cannot remember. Yeah, I can't. I have no memories whatsoever, so we're going to see. It's starting to feel like if you don't get impeached, you weren't really president. Like, this uh, <laughs> this starting to feel like street cred for presidents, you know what I mean? <laughs> they want to impeach you. Here's, here's my thing about Biden. And calm down, because I can already feel it. <laughs> For real, for real. Like, I said two words and already people were like, what? Like, it was... <laughs> to, this is what's so annoying about being American right now. You get, like, two words in and people try to suss out where you are. Like, we haven't done that since the Civil War. Like, chill out. <laughs> I said two things. I just said, here's my thing about Biden. And immediately, I could feel y'all's eyes all be like, oh, I didn't know they invited Candace Owens' brother to do a set. <laughs> Yo, yeah, not Candace Owens' brother. That's horrible. No, no. Just here's, Try to here's, cancel his brother. His brother. I think about Biden. I don't. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like I. I feel like if you show me evidence, I'll consider something. I'm not a biased person. Maybe he doing everything that the Republicans say he doing, but when we look over him, he just look tired. Like yeah. That, <laughs> He doesn't look, I mean, I'm not even saying he can't be corrupt. I'm saying he doesn't look capable right now. He look, <laughs> you know, maybe he's the worst criminal that we've ever had in the office. But when you look over him, he just looked like the Snoop Dogg of soup. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everything Snoop Dogg did for weed, Biden doing for soup right now. Like, you know, he making soup cool. He trying to get the kids into soup. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> It feels, it feels odd, you know? Because it's like, maybe he's a criminal mastermind, but it feels like he's just hanging on. You know what I mean? That's a grandpa, and we put him to work. That's, that we... Like, yeah, like, what's crazy is, I think for a lot of folks, because Biden was such the polar opposite of Trump to where Trump was on the... Trump, like, it's insane. Like, Trump was doing rallies after he became president because he's such a narcissist... He has to be loved, and because he probably wasn't loved with a child, that's why he acts the way he does. If I was talking to analyze it real quick, but yeah, the fact that he has to be loved and appreciated, adulated by everyone and everything, and like he doesn't know how to, you know, be a human. Biden was a normal president to where you didn't really see him unless there's something major going on. So for the fact that when they did a presidential debate this past summer, and people were like, oh, 
oh, Biden, he ain't looking good. He all right? Like, he is not looking good. Like, yeah, that was a first. I'm like, I'm, I was like severely, I didn't even watch it. I just saw the highlights. I'm like, I'm severely worried about this guy. Like, forget the presidency. Like, is he going to make it till tomorrow? Like, it's something like, and that's where, again, I had that, I had this thought years ago. Like, there should be an age limit to being a president. You should not be able to be president past six. Like, I really feel like past 60, you're pushing it. I think you shouldn't because at 60, what the oldest the president could be is 68. And I'm like, I don't know. Nah, that might be even pushing it. I don't know. But, like, yeah, there should be an age limit, bro, because, like, there's no way that that – it's not even a body thing. It's just, like, rank, like a lot of these pre- – like, I just uh, – they're just old. Like I like no disrespect to, to to my elders and my OGs, but just like, come on, bro. Like I don't, like you have to be with the times. You have to adapt to the times. And the one thing I know, having a mom who's in her sixties, the one thing they don't not do good with is adapting to the times. <laughs> and as a president, you have to do that. Old people be stuck in their ways respectfully. So it's just like yeah, like I think the cap should be like the oldest you can go. For the presidency, like fifty five. That way, the oldest you could be in the, in the office, like sixty three. I'll take that. But like, yeah, maybe maybe fifty eight. Um, but yeah, that just did yeah, that. You know, <laughs> you can't possibly believe that Biden is this criminal mastermind. But then also, anytime he make it through a speech, we're like, that was pretty good. That was like, I don't know. <laughs> no, he really crushed that. He didn't slip on any of the s's. That was. <laughs> Nah. Well done, well done. Yeah, you know I mean, there was a couple of T's and he stuck them like Simone Biles. I'm really proud of it. <laughs> well done. You know, there is one thing I will say, honestly, that Biden will be doing that's not on the up and up. If you watch as many press conferences as I watch with Biden talking, to, it's only when they ask him a good ass question he start acting senile. I'm not gonna lie. Like anytime they got a good ass question dead to rise, that's when he start talking about Disneyland <laughs> and hanging out on Mars with Larry Bird. I'm like, you were fine a second ago. Like, <laughs> you know, this feels weird. I don't know why more world leaders don't do that. You know, a lot of them old just start doing the Biden card. You get in trouble. That's what Putin Mitch McConnell. I was like, it was bogging my mind. Like, who did he remind me of? Mitch McConnell. Yo. That's when I started having that, that, when I started thinking about that. When I saw Mitch McConnell the past couple years, I'm like, there's no way y'all could tell me he's in his right state of mind to be doing his job. Like, it's just, come on. Like, it's respe- respectfully outside of like Greg Popovich. And I think, I f- believe I saw something where he might. Be going through something like, come, like you just can't do. It's the presidency of the United States, bro. Like at some point, you got to be like, come on, <laughs> like respectfully. Again, you can have thirty five to like fifty seven, like at best. But it's got to be an age range, bro. If there's an age limit to how young you be, how is there no age limit to how old you can be? That don't make sense. <laughs> that legit don't make no sense. So yeah, I saw. I remember mean, seeing Mitch. If you if you seen Mitch McConnell, bro, if you glitch, like it's just like yo. He just like you ask him a question. He's just like, oh no, that boy, that boy not here. Like you need to. Oh like yo, you got to make age limits for presidents, man. They got to do that, Bruh. But yeah, it's crazy out here. Government. Mm-mm-mm. Do. <laughs> Think about it. Putin would buy a lot of goodwill if he just fell down a flight of steps every day. <laughs> if every day for a month, Putin just, ooh, ooh, like, just every day. Mr. Magoo? He'd be catching people a month from now being like, he's a fucking war criminal. And we'd be like, yeah, but it looked like he got bad knees. Leave him alone. <laughs> <laughs> they try to, they try to interview him. They're like, why are you still laying siege to Ukraine? And he's like, Ukraine? <laughs> Is that one of my grandbabies? Like, oh, okay. <laughs> and they're even coming for Hunter now. You saw Hunter got indicted. That's wild. That's oof. They really coming for the Bidens hard, you know? 
I love Hunter. I really do. <laughs> I re you know what's crazy? I remember having a, oh, I hope he's still alive, man. My favorite teacher ever, uh, Mr. Rufo. And it was uh, junior year in high school. Talking about how Biden, <laughs> he's amazed that Biden became the vice president. Or oh, this might be, no, this is before. This is before he became vice president. Um, yeah, this would have been before. How Biden was able to do what he's been doing and rise in the ranks in in politics when, like, I believe if the story is correct, like he like there was like a car accident to where he left somebody at the scene of crime, something like that. Like he always talked about that. Uh, God, yo, I hope he's still alive, Mr. Rufo, man. That's my man's. He always talked about Biden, like, like how is he able to do what he's doing? Like he left people at the scene of crime. Like I don't understand. But yeah, um. Yeah, the whole, like, man, politics, man, just such, that whole thing. Like, I just can't stand politics, bro. Like, I just such, like, they go after families and go, I will never be a politician. Like, I don't, I'm a private person. I'll be damned you're going to go into my history about who I dated or who, like, man, come on, bro. Stop it, bro. But yeah, but yo, Hunter Biden, he different, though. He different. <laughs> Do no, no, hear me out. I do. I love Hunter because I'm just so glad that the first person to smoke crack in the White House was white. That's that's beautiful. That is absolutely Mary and Barry wasn't in the, technically in the White House, especially if you know the history of crack in the U.S. You're like, wow, yes, thank goodness. It really makes the White House to crack relationship feel like it's come full circle now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shout out to Reagan. <laughs> I am disappointed, though. I'm not going to lie to you. I wish, I, I really do wish that Hunter would just get Joe to smoke crack. <laughs> that would be the most fire presidency of all time. I know nobody's on board with this, but hear me out, okay? First of all, Biden will never fall again, all right? Crackheads do not fall, okay? <laughs> you could push Biden and he still hit an angle. Like, it's like... <laughs> I'm telling you, he'd never go down again. You'd never have to worry. He would skip steps on the way up. My man would be fucking feeling himself. You'd never have a boring press conference again. Biden press conferences are a snooze fest right now. Just, uh, 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 you know what I mean? Not on crack, not on crack. <laughs> not on crack. crack, he'd be like, what? What was that? <laughs> he, he got to scream because he sold the mic for money for more crack. But like, what was that? <laughs> now he sold the mic for money. I gotta yell. Nah, that's insane. I don't want that. That'd be a crazy skit, though. I hope he does that skit or Chappelle. If Chappelle came back, do that skit, yo. Like, the president on crack is crazy. So, what? Crack. Not on crack. He'd be like, what? What was that? He got to scream because he sold the mic for money for more crack. But, like, what was that? <laughs> And Republicans would love if Biden was on crack because he'd finally be as bad of a president as they've been saying he is. <laughs> Republicans could finally be like, he sold Indiana for $6 to China, all right? <laughs> what the fuck we gonna do? We got citizens over there. <laughs> and then as liberals, we would love if Biden was on crack because we'd finally have a Trump. <laughs> You know what I mean? We act like we don't need a Trump, but we need one. We really do. As liberals, we need a Trump. We care about everybody feeling too much, but we get Biden smoking crack, Joe just going off. He not can in control what he's saying. We'd finally have a bully on our side, you know? Marjorie Taylor Greene be up there like, Joe Biden, you're a piece of shit. And then Joe, fully cracked out. Fully cracked out. It's like, oh, Mart, I'm a piece of shit. Well, you a lonely bitch. Aren't you getting divorced this year? <laughs> Hope those conspiracy theories could keep you warm, lonely bitch. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. It'd be incredible. You would have to like rein him in though. You'd see you'd see Joe trying to try to wash the windshields of Air Force One. <laughs> Mr. President, get down. Get down right now. Oh, it would be dope, man. How do I put this? I've, I've, I'll be honest with you, I've watched some porn before in my life. Thank you, thank you. 
<laughs> that got a belly? Like, what? <laughs> what is? I do not remember. Probably because I watched it a year ago when it first came out. So I don't remember any of the The fact that that got a piano. <laughs> oh, that got keys is crazy. Like, thank you, thank you. This is my thing. <laughs> Porn. <laughs> It gives people unrealistic expectations, you know what I mean? And we all know what they say about men, that porn gives men unrealistic expectations of sex because porn makes men think, oh, if I just touch her elbow with my penis, she gonna lose it, you know what I mean? Like, if I just touch you, be like, ah! Just... Thank you. But it's not, it's not just for men, it's for everyone. Porn gives everyone unrealistic expectations of sex, you know? Like it makes men think that the sex, they're about to be sex gods, and it makes women think that the sex is about to be like good or whatever, you know what I mean? <laughs> Everybody's gonna be disappointed. Bro, what an ending, like that was an unexpected ending. Like usually I can, I can see where I thought he was going to, but maybe he subtly like was going to wrap it back around the election for the following year or for this year. Like, <laughs> yo, I did not see that ending happening. Like, that was crazy. But yeah, that's, uh, yeah, I'm trying to remember. I cannot remember what body was getting the piece. I cannot remember. But uh, yeah, that was Josh Johnson, one of my favorite comedians, currently my favorite comedian right now, um, on Kamala replacing Biden. Uh, <laughs> and Biden's impeachment and uh, area of other topics. Um, definitely go check him out. We definitely gonna do some more reactions. I mean, he he's amazing because he does videos like he's doing. He does new sets like every day. So like he does a new set the way he talks about talks about current topics almost every day, and he maps it out and makes it hilarious. So I can't wait to see. Excuse me. I can't wait to see his reaction or his thoughts on the election, however it goes. And my gut, my gut tells me Kamala's gonna win. My head tells me that America's gonna America. So they can definitely vote for Trump again, even though it's convicted felon and, you know, he started the insurrection January 6th and all that. But, you know, we'll see. But my gut tells me we'll have our first female president, which will be crazy. Uh, to live, not only to have lived to see the first black president, but the first female president and black female president. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm about to be like, yo, white women, white women, y'all gotta get on. <laughs> y'all gotta get, like, y'all down right now. White women, y'all down right now. Y'all gotta figure it out. Y'all gotta figure it out. <laughs> I don't know what my mom would be. <laughs> like, y'all gotta figure it out. But yeah, um, again, I'm an open book, man. I don't, I'm not, I don't do that whole, I don't, I don't tell about, I just, I, it don't matter to me. At the end of the day, um, because I feel like I'm on, a, on, on the right side of history, so maybe I don't feel, like, I feel like people that are afraid to say who they're going to vote for, do it because they're afraid they're going to be on the wrong side of history or feel like, or ashamed, like, I'm not a, I'm not ashamed of who, who I support or ashamed of who I vote for because I believe in them or at least believe in their policy or believe in what they stand for even I don't believe they're going to change the world so I always thought it to be hilarious how he was so secretive like what are you secretive for I never understood that it's crazy but it's that's me because I'm, I'm I don't care but um like comment subscribe share all the things other things ain't gotta go home do gotta get to step in peace no.